everyone, Mrs. Gigi here with the second week using the hashtag junk journal with us and I am uh, doing it with the collab that Melody has Melody made. I will link all the information down in the description box and let's get started with our fun thing. I made this uh, journal last time. Hashtag junk journal with us if you want to join the fun. Uh, just put in all kinds of things to show you how to sew in a signature with a spine here. Today I'm going to work in a uh, the journal for this month with Melody Mate created the cover not really finished but there it is sewn in the signature and placed out some pockets I haven't really decided exactly where but I also printed out these uh, that I got from the design team so these are the ones that I'm going to use to have as the added pages for this week so Melody showed us how to make a lace of fabric flip she showed us how to add in a page and the task for this week was to make a paper clip and use what did she say something old something new something borrowed and something blue so that is what we will do but i will first of all add these little pages or as i'm going to make them i fold it up like this a page I'm going to create it as a pocket to use so for me it will be adding some glue first you can use it as a pocket And for this, I've also used my circle punch that I have to create this little thing here. So going in like this, adding, let's see, do I want it here? No, I'm going to place it on this thing here. Using washi is Melody showed us in her video for me I'm actually going with a little bit of glue for the washi because I really want it to be glued down properly I'm going to use this washi, a little bit of boho we feel to it, and of course the same color scheme, sort of. Right on the other side as well. Let's see, let me just have it like this and then the glue on really it's easier at least I think it is so 
Um, as you can see, it's an added pocket to be used in the journal. I'm going to cut the washi out. Cut the washi up here. And do the same thing on the bottom of the page. So here we have it, the added page. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here. Yes, you can go in with some glue to have this paper out as a pocket. And you can, of course, take another page, whatever book page or another that you have laying around. Doesn't need to be double-sided like this. I don't really mind the glue really because these are of course going to be decorated in the end so I'm going to put that one there with the same washi. And then we need to add some cute little paper, paper clips. And then going with the glue and this again. And the glue is used in this case to have it a little bit more secure than just the washi. You can of course use the washi by itself but I really want to have it secured down so seriously everyone I need to buy myself a new paper scissor let's see i'll take the big one instead so there we have that pocket and now we do have a pocket here and a pocket on the other side and I'm going to decorate them later on but there they are so what about adding a flip a fabric flip in this case so let's see I do have some boho fabric uh, that I thought that I would use like this one for instance and of course together with the lace might be adding on top there a little bit And you can take whatever lace or flip or thing that you have. I'm going to add 
this one and might add in something else too well let's see i do have this i was thinking about this for adding as a pocket but let's I do want that combination. Let's see, what about... I'll have to put it the right way. Like that. Putting that one. I'm thinking about putting something else too. But I'm not sure. I'll have to try. Let's see if I will cut that green off. Hmm. Let's cut this one a little bit more to size. Just because I don't, I don't want it to be that wide. I'm going to take the right scissors again. This is a thing. And of course, this particular little piece of fabric you can use as a, a tag topper or something. These fabric that I'm using, they are ordered actually directly from India. a little bit not that wide but I like it because I wanted to show so let's see what about go don't want to have it I'm going to fold it to look how I want it if I just want to have it like you know a little bit more than halfway down So in that case, I can actually use the other part for something else. So I am going like this. bit more straight like that and I think in my case that I'm going to sew it in going to have to do that a little bit off offline so I will show you and of course if I had this plan beforehand I would sew these kinds of things in before um, sewing in the whole signature I'm just going to have it flip like this for right now And 
Then we had the paper clips. Paper clips are fun to make. I use these as I like the color. And I'm going to use ones or part of ones that I got in the kit that I'm using here. It's authentic saw. Let's see, we have this one. I have backed it on cardstock. That is what I've done. Let's see, where do I have? I can take a blue, blue one there. And the only thing that I'm going to do right now is to add things on here. So we had something old. I do have something new and blue. And let's see. And going through what I have in in blue. But first we are going to add the paper clips on the back. And I'm I'm using in this case um, paper from these. So have a similar one there and then pour the blue. Let's see, do we have a blue? It's not the exact same, but I will go with that. the paper clip like this and put a lot of glue on the back side cut it to size first sort of like that put a lot of glue on the back side is how I do it in the in this case and Do want to have that one? I'm thinking, what about adding some? This is kind of blue, turquoisey blue. I'm going to make a little bit of a ruffle. Just have it folded like this and as it's a boho journal I don't mind the whole thread thing showing could of course take in another color but I'm not So just folded and going, you can sew these so that they are hidden, but yet again, I don't really mind. So we will go like this for just a couple of stitches. So 
so I will just cut this one off and not really have it let's see if I can have it in a knot on the back side to hide a little bit <clears throat> yet again going in with a little knot there so as you can see it's a little ruffle I'm going to have it placed like here So this is what I made uh, when it came to the paper clip. Unfortunately, it wasn't shown on the video, but here we have them, the ruffle placed on a little bling there and had a little tag topper. And I will place that one on some of the pages. Haven't really decided on which one. Here I took uh another of the paper clips that we made put a little bit of um a sequenced uh, fabric piece that i had and yet again a little bling with a butterfly there just glued it on with fabric glue and it is uh back back like this with a paper clip there so that you can have it on top you can of course have tags like this put the back siding of the paper clip like this cover it all up and have it attached like tucks and things in this particular one i've used i have fabric tabs so i don't want to have that many uh, paper clips on the sides so I'm going to have these two and maybe you know a couple more some sort so I've attached a page like this created as a, as a pocket these two paper clips and and of course, I am going to sew this one in a flip like this. And it's fabric from India that I'm using. I've stenciled part of the pages. Authentic soul as it is. Melodies um, papers. Stenciled a couple of them on the back side. And I'm going to create this this fun journal together with you created another of those uh, pocket and added pages like that so it is going to be fun to see the final result isn't it so i'm just going to put these ones here to show you it is really fun and it is really easy to make so thank you all so much for looking at this video and i will be back next week with part number three so don't forget about looking down in the description box and use the hashtag junk journal with us if you want to join Thank you so much for watching. Bye.